Gravity is a force that attracts two physical objects according to their mass and the distance between them. The force of gravity is always present on Earth and attracts all objects to the Earth's surface. What goes up must come down. Gravity is a force of finite magnitude, so in order to overcome it, you must apply a force of greater power. So how do airplanes defy gravity? At takeoff, powerful jet engines propel the airplanes forward at very high speeds. The air flowing against the wings forces the aircraft upward, creating an upward opposing force called lift. Airplanes are unable to fly unless they reach a certain speed. One and lift off of Space Shuttle Atlantis. A shuttle is able to defy gravity because of the rocket engines that propel it upwards. It takes a great amount of fuel and energy to lift a shuttle into space. This is why the largest component of the launch assembly is the fuel tank. Atlantis's roll maneuver is complete. The As the mass of an object increases, the force required to move the object increases. Buoyancy is an upward opposing force exerted on an object immersed in any fluid or gas. If the immersed object has less mass than the fluid or gas, it will rise. Helium gas in a balloon is less dense than the air in the atmosphere. Therefore, buoyancy allows for the helium balloon to rise. Air bubbles in water always rise to the top for the same reason. Air is less dense than water. Now that you understand different ways to overcome the force of gravity, Let's take a look at a few content statements. Gravity is a force that acts on objects in relation to their distance and mass. Gravity is a force of finite magnitude. Even though it's always present, it can be overcome by applying a force of greater power, such as lifting a box or propelling it with a rocket or jet engine. Buoyancy is a force exerted on an object immersed in a fluid or gas. The weight of an object is determined by the mass of an object and how much force gravity exerts on it. Fun fact! On Earth, your mass is equal to your weight. Because gravitational forces on Jupiter are much greater than that of Earth, if you weigh 155 pounds on Earth, then you will weigh 355 pounds on Jupiter. Thank you for watching.